Hello YouTube, in this video I will be teaching you guys how to get to 400k to 500k stats. If you found this useful, useful, please leave a like, comment below if you learned something new, and let's get right into it. First, I'm going to be starting off from all the way from the beginning, from the Phantom Phoenix set. So you're going to be needing hero ones, so make sure you play your hero dungeons every day. Make sure you play Wizard of Labyrinth floor 12 to floor 15 because this will give you two hero bullets and the majority of the community are playing there so you can find a team easier. On the weekends, make sure you do Angry Boss. Do not play Nightmare Circus if you have to step because getting GP proper sets are going to be way into the future. It may be like a month, it might be a couple weeks. It depends how much you play the game. If you can solo, you can get 36 hero blunts. If you can't, find a team. And this may vary on the coins you get. It might be 12, it might be 10, it might be 8. It depends, like I said. Make sure you load up your character. If you load up characters and get in faded fragment pieces, make sure you go to refinery, go to event, go all the way down to hero blunts and craft your faded fragment pieces. You'll get three for craft, if you want, you hit max to um, craft more. So, once you're done with your Phantom Phoenix set, and make sure you craft everything from the shop. Like, if you have an upper armor, make sure you go to Epic to Relic, because doing that this way will save you a lot of hero ones. If you craft everything Individually, you'll be needing 743 hero ones. If you just buy them up straight from the shop, you'll be spending more. So don't do that. Just craft because you'll be crafting your accessories regardless by force because there's no buy from accessories. So once you dump your faint your Phantom Phoenix set, let's get into your true iron dragon gear. If you have more than one level 85. You can just craft your um, weapon if you don't want it for that character to get more Iron Dragon skills. You're going to be needing 70 to craft one from the box. You get anything you want from your box. It's up to you. It doesn't matter what character. Craft anything you want for releases. I'll be crafting gloves. It doesn't matter. You can craft gloves, a sword, a weapon, anything you want. First, um, this is a good roll. I'll be going over effects later. So once you get your 20, um, the Crucible, 20 Sanctum of Destruction Orbs, and 30 Wizards Orbs, you can craft your Reddick set. And once you do that, I'll be going over the effects, the best effects, and the best cards now. So the best cards I'll go over first. I'm going to go to Ronin because he is the prime example. If you are not looking to get to 500k stats, make sure you be getting your Vitality. Vitality is more um, better than defense, and I have proof of this. Vitality will increase your TM more. Because, say, you can see my Cory, right? Vitality is plus 40, and critical attack chance is 30%. For this set, this is defense plus 50 and critical attack damage is plus 3. So this is more um, number wise than my uh, vitality. But once I equip it, my TA goes down by a lot. This is because vitality is more superior than defense. So that's the logic behind that. Vitality is better than defense. And it helps you stay alive a lot longer in a ways. Next, you will want to go MP Recovery. MP Recovery will increase your TA the most. This is how you're going to get to 500k. I'll be going over that method later. Special Attack is good. Make sure you have that to increase your Special Attack damage. Not your Special um, um, This is what increase your skills of how much damage you do. Critical Attack damage is the best for your gloves and your weapon. Special Attack is good for your shoes. MP recovery is good for your cloak to increase your TA the most. So going over effects, um, you will want to get 
critical attack damage and critical attack chance first. Do not mess with anything else. Just try to get your critical attack damage first and your um, chance. I mean, yeah, your chance. Ronin is my prime example of a mistake because MP recovery, attack, and special attack is, are all good. But if you want to reach to 400k to 500k, you're going to be needing your chance and your damage on every single item you have. 65.99 is good, but there's no way that I'm going to consistently hit my critical attack chances with Ronin. Every time I do Blame Buster, it hits one every like four times. So, what's the point of having high special attack when your strike chance is low and you're not consistently doing the best damage possible out of your skills when your chance is low? So for Elises, um, if you want to get to 440k to 500k stats, of course, like I said before, you're going to need chance and damage. Attack, special attack are good. MP recovery and special attack are good. But make sure, like I said, a lot before critical attack, chance, and damage. That's like the one thing you need to take away from this video is have that for everything. And attack is good for at least because she can Olo. Special attack is good as well. But if you want to get to 500k, you're going to have to sacrifice your special attack. You can get to 500k with, with ruins only, but for me, Mike, and a lot of people cases, they have MP recovery grief. MP recovery for every single thing, besides your gloves and your weapon. Your gloves and your weapon need to be plus 17 too, by the way. Everything needs to be critical attack, damage, and strike, MP recovery for your cards. The reason why my critical strike chance is 81.50% is because of the Killian set. This is a very rare set I would recommend getting because this is like a season 4 set with the upper armor and the mask. Usually the upper armor and the mask for season 5 are a lot different. Like, um... Pet MP recovery increased by 2% in defense. This is attack and critical attack chance. Mask, I fuse Cordy. Um, this should be HP drain and special attack, I believe. Uh, let's go here. I gotta hurry up. Yeah, HP drain and special attack. And like I said, upper armor is different. Season 4 is the same as the, what I have right now. That's why I say it's rare. Um, critical attack damage. I don't have it for Orion. I'm upper armor, unfortunately. So, yeah. What pushed me to 500k was my C level. I was at 493k, and then I C level reset and went with attack. Because, don't quote me on this, but... I believe every 100, I mean, every 10 will increase your TA by 100, and the total will be, be 20k TA increase. So I went from 493k to 500k just by going 120. And I just split these two up because why not? And I went damage to boss. These won't increase your TA much at all only attack will so going to ruins this is like the final part of the video ruins you're gonna want critical attack chance damage attack I will recommend you having three dooms because this will give you additional critical strike damage by 18.8 percent and then the rest is up to you Make sure it's like critical attack damage, MP recovery, and all that stuff I said before. Uh, my lease is broke because this took me like a couple recordings to get this video a little bit shorter than attend it. So I'm gonna go to Rufus. No, Rufus is poor. Um, Ruin is good. I don't know if, if he has ruins or not. Okay, Ronin. Okay, he has some ruins. So if you ever 
want to re-roll your ruins, and if you don't want this... See how I don't like these ruins? Critical strike damage resistance. And I want my runes back. All I do is just dismantle it, get my runes back. This is how you get good ruins effects. You'll be needing a lot of GP and a lot of multiple ruins. And a lot of darkstone, because you will be losing some darkstone back. Attack. Regular. I mean, um, this is a random roll. GP gain. I don't want GP gain. So what you do is you just dismantle the ruin. Try again. Hair resistance, don't like that. If you really, really, really want to, you can just try going again. I got defense on that. So I don't want this ruin. This is just an example, by the way. I would highly recommend doing like um, higher ruins, like T3s, T5s, T2s. Those are good examples. The reason. The difference between the erratic and epic in the common ruin is just uh, how many effects it comes with at start. Like, erratic for example, it comes with all three, but with a common, I mean, yeah, common and a rare, it comes with one. So you're just YOLOing the, um, I mean, rare it comes with one, and then with um, common it comes with nothing but the normal item. T4s will give you the critical attack damage at a high percent. Just like T5s. This is why I upgraded this. And this is why I have 38.35%. The lower the T1, the lower your um, normal item effect will be. So, trying to get these around like two T2s, T3s, T5s. So, yeah. That's how I got 100k. And this is how my total attack is 500k. Um, if you are at, like, a 2-4, if you have critical attack damage and critical attack chance, make sure you be playing your tower disappearance for single part resets. The minimum is 250k people will accept. I usually carry anybody regardless of stat because I'm 500k and I can sell this very comfortably. But not right now. I usually play with teams because my um, pots are low and I have 250k VP. Um, I might get paid on YouTube, maybe? The 21st, it depends on if I get donations. It depends if my at revenue is good for this month. I need like 10 bucks. Feel free to donate if you want. <laughs> but yeah, um, I think that's it for this video. Make sure you guys like the video. Like I said before, subscribe if you're new. Make sure you sing a prop reset your two fours and your three fours. Make sure your critical attack damage and chance are the first things you have on your weapons. I think you can be able to GP, not GP, um, single prop reset anything for GP prop resets. If it's not both, like I said, just GP prop reset it. If you have one or two, just do it, save it till last, and then you can just GP prop reset it. But yeah, that's it for this video, and I'll see you guys later.